Welcome Harry's. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, happy birthday to you Aries that was born the 13th of uh, April until the 19th of April. I want to say, yep, thank you so much. Um, thank you. You guys are the winner of last week. Readings. So, 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 you go, you ear, Aries. Oh my God. Okay. So this year is going to be a good year and the energy, um, of this year for you guys, because this is your soul and your birthday. Um, congratulations again. So this is just unbelievable. You Aries, I am feeling you. I know what you want now. So I'm going to try to give you Aries what you want. I love you guys so much. It has been hard for a lot of you Aries because you're fighting to um, create stability in your world. So I do understand. So Aries, what are we doing? Um, we're going to be looking at your year to see what is transpiring. Okay. So the people who are born on the 13th, you have strength in this year. Whatever the issue and the situation is, strength is coming up for the people who were born on the 13th. So what I'm going to do is go um, um, by bowl by bowl for you guys in order for you to remember what's going to be happening for your birthday. So um, whatever is transpiring, strength is coming up and we're going to be seeing what is it that uh, you are dealing with that you need to deal with so much strength that is coming up for you guys that was born on the 13th. The 13th is actually a good, good um, month. Okay. So what we're seeing here, I think I better place it like this, is that there is some conflicts that you people who were born on April 13th is going through. And I see a judgment call is going to be coming out. Now, what was this conflicts about? Um, it's about sadness. Okay. So what is going on is that um, a blonde woman, whoever this blonde woman is uh, that is watching this and you were born on the 13th or blonde ladies and you were born on the 13th, the 13th of uh, um, April, I see you're going to be having some issues in this, in this um, year, a whole lot of issues, a whole lot of conflicts and a whole lot of issues and conflicts that is transpiring in your world. So, um, yeah, it is, um, it is, um, a lot that is going to be happening for you guys. I see judgment call is going to be coming down on this conflicts, whatever is transpiring. And I see you're trying to find inner strength to deal with this, but especially if the blonde women is going to be affected, um, in this year. La force is here. La force is uh, you're trying to find it in the inner strength to deal with issues and situations that is transpiring around you. So a lot of you are dealing with forces uh, and conflicts all around you. It could be with relationship. It could be um, with so many things that is happening because uh, um, this is um, for so many people. So I see. Um, um, the conflicts could be with a Leo and a judgment call. And I see that you are going to be successful over whatever is transpiring. Okay. I see you're going to be very successful over whatever is transpiring. So your numbers is going to be eight, um, seven, um, five and 20 and two. Okay. All right. As we look at the people who are born on the 14, I see the energy of the sun. This is wonderful. It's going to be a very, very good, positive year. The energy of the sun is here. And with the energy of the sun, there's coming up a lot of promising things for you. So if you were born on the 14th of April, the energy of the sun is very positive. It's about health. It's about success. It's about high energy. It's about you and other people um, collaborating and creating something very wonderful, very good. This is absolutely fabulous. You are going to be having a good year. So people who were born on the 14th, you have the energy of the sun. 
and along with that i see some of you are going to be making uh, some decision about what um and how you're going forward and it has to be with nurturing okay so um you're going to be thinking some of you how am i going to be more loving more nurturing to myself but also to my kids and um people around me so it's all about love and making decisions some of you are going to be decided whether or not you want to stay in a relationship with a water sign person or however this is going to be playing out and transpiring so i see a lot of uh, information that is coming your way a lot of situation that is going to be transpiring but it's going to be positive but it's all about loving yourself nurturing yourself and nurturing the people around you and this is going to be absolutely absolutely good okay so when we look at that energy it's absolutely fantastic because uh, what you're dealing with is basically um you are going to be you have the sweet card also and the sweet card is one of these beautiful cards that is saying with the sun and the sweet card this is going to be a wonderful year so whoever is born on the 14th you're going to be absolutely um um blasting in this year because you're going to be feeling happiness and joy but not only that you're going to be creating happiness and joy around yourself whether you're a man or woman or a, a, a child this is going to be a, just a fantastic year for you a lot of decisions is going to be made in this year so be aware of that and that is really um good and this is why i say to people it's good to do a birthday reading in order to understand what is going to be coming up for you guys so, so whoever you are it's going to be a good year however this situation is you're going to be trans um you're going to be overcoming every issue every situation that is transpiring i see as things comes in you're going to be able to release them out of your life and this is going to be good so I see you have, um, you're going to be having issues with relationships, uh, marriage, relationship, family, um, that sort of a situation. And that is also going to be good. Then I see you have the two, um, you have the energy of the, um, making a decision, a financial decision. Um, especially you ladies are going to be thinking about making some new financial decision. However, that is transpiring and happening. For you guys, it's going to be a very positive year. It's going to be a year of you loving yourself. Also, it is good to ask for a birthday reading because it will gives you um, wonderful, um, excited uh, um, information. So you guys have six. So there's going to be a lot. Some of you could be getting married in this year or making decision to get married in this year. So that is good. So I'm seeing a lot that is transpiring and happening for you guys. You have six. Um, you have 19, uh, um, you have 10, which is a new start, Wheel of Fortune, Unexpected Luck. You have two where you're going to be making decisions, balancing out issues, so you're juggling things. And uh, I see you have the energy of love. So um, those are your numbers. And moving on to the people who were born on the 15th, you have the energy of the hermit. Now, whatever is transpiring, some of you were not seeing something clearly in the past year or so. And in this year is as if clarity is going to be coming in. And this is going to be absolutely wonderful because the clarity is going to be helping you to see things much clearer. And it's, it's going to bring you a surprise because you're going to be finding out the truth and you're going to be seeing things much clearer it's as if sometimes people will say things um but you're trying to read between the lines and this year is as if uh, you no longer have to read between the lines you're understanding things and you're seeing things and things are really clear now exactly what has been happening and transpiring so clarity is a year of clarity for you people who were born on the 15th it is a year of clarity where you're going to be understanding and unexpected information and unexpected situations is going to be clearer to you what you weren't seeing clearly now you're going to be understanding um what has been transpiring so you have the energy of nine and it's an unexpected surprise that is going to be coming in for a lot of you like unexpected things that were um being an issue is going to be resolved okay 
I see some of you are going to be finding out the truth about a child and the deceptiveness that has played with a child for some of you. For some of you, you're going to be having this new start and you're going to be realize that you were stabbed in the back by people and situations around you. So you got to be aware of this especially for you people who were born on the 15 because what is going to be transpiring is that you're going to be right realize why you weren't moving forward something about your child what was transpiring in the world of your child in your world why you were just stuck and you weren't moving forward everything is going to become very very clear and you're going to be seeing the truth i see you're going to be start moving forward so if you had a um, if you wanted to move forward, I see that this is definitely going to be happening. I see, um, whatever that was blocking your way is now going to be lifted and go is going to be removed out of your way. However, this is happening and transpiring. It is going to be a wonderful year because when clarity comes in a year, it is all about, uh, um, seeing the truth of deceptiveness and lies, uh, people who blocked your way. The blockage are going to be lifting and you're going to be finding out and understanding why is it that you weren't moving forward because people were being very deceptive and very deceiving. And I see that that is something that is going to be um, coming out. OK, so that is really um, something for you and you have numb. Um, 41 which is five so you have 41 five nine and the omega and then you have uh, 10 and 10 is like you um at its rock bottom and now you're going to be getting up and moving forward in your life in a very positive way okay all right so we are moving on to the people who were born on the 16th and um, an Angman energy is here for the people who are born in the 16. So it's a year where you're going to be going within. You're going within to find out what is the best possibility for you, for yourself, for your family. But you're going within and trying to find out something. It could be something about your parents, something about you women, something about a woman, a widower, Whoever this person is, but I see most of you women going within. The men are going to be reaching in and trying to figure out so better ways, best of po possibilities, better ways in order to resolve certain issues, certain situation. And it is going to be absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So however way it's affecting you, it's going to be good because you're going to be understanding you're going to be going within and by going within connecting with yourself you're going to be understanding things much better and this is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous so sometimes a year and it depends on your birthday and what you're working with in the year but what we're seeing here is that help is going to be you're going in to um find help okay to see how you can be happy again to see and especially you ladies so you ladies are coming up uh, and you're going in to see how you could be happy again how this could be happening for you and transpiring for you so however this is happening and transpiring i see you're going within and trying to find your happiness again and this is it's kind of hard however this is transpiring it's um it's kind of hard for some of you but it is a year for reconnecting with yourself and this is going to be very positive i see that a lot of you you're going to be making your dreams come true um but this is a year where we're on the shutdown so it depends on what the hope then as things open up it's going to be happening for you your numbers is 44 which is an angel number i see a lot of you your spirit guides and angels is going to be coming in in order to help you and this is really wonderful and positive and i see the nine of cups uh, where the, it's as if your happiness is there but you can't you are going to be assessing your happiness in this year and this is good whatever is transpiring with you all the latest i see it's as if you're trying to bring back happiness and joy in your life however that is transpiring for you all righty so 
you have 44, you have 12, you have 3, you have 9. 44, 12, 3, and 9. We're moving forward to the people who were born on the 17. We see the energy, your energy. You're going to be also enjoying this year. Some of you will become entrepreneur. However, this is happening and transpiring. I see you guys are going to be enjoying this year. The energy of entrepreneur is here and it's coming up and it's absolutely wonderful because what this is happening and what this is saying for you guys is that with the energy of this entrepreneur, it's as if you're finding in your new fate, your new fate, you're finding your new fate. I see a loss with a corporation institution is going to be coming up. I see some of you who have a business is going to um, have a, a huge hit a huge loss with your business in however way it is transpiring however way this is um but i see uh, um you men um um in with business is going to have some loss um okay so if you are a business person you're going to be accumulating some loss in this year however this is happening and transpiring um I see the energy of uh, love, seeing the truth about people, situation, business partner. Um, truths are coming up because this year is as if some of you are going to be finding out and seeing the truth about people and situations around you and realizing the deceptiveness that has been transpiring and the deceptive play that has been transpiring. And you are going to be alarmingly waking up yourself uh, um, with this issue and this situation and how people in power is very, very, uh, or someone could be using their powers, but whatever it is, you guys are working on dualities, dualities. And when we have the energy of dualities, that is coming up. What this is saying is that there is, has been so much deceptiveness that has occurred and transpired and the energy of duality because you have the two of cups and the two of swords so it's all about people seeing things um collaboration seeing things so whatever the issues is big business business is going to get a hit for you um guys this year so be aware of that but for the rest i see men um you have to make uh, decision it's a year where you men have to make some form of a decision in your life in order um to a career um better stability in your world so however this is happening and transpiring you're going to be seeing um this a sort of a situation that is transpiring so um this year is going to be powerful it's going to be a good year but yet still it's a year where you're working with someone else it can be you're in a child you're in a relationship you have kids but you're working with someone else so however this is happening and transpiring you're going to be seeing a form of a duality so you guys have four and then you have you have twice four 44 so it's a year where your spirit guides your angels um 44 is about stability so it's stability in your materialistic world it's about seeing the truth it's about legal issues um it's about buying new houses or creating long-term stability business business are going to be receiving and it so be aware so again um 30 which is three uh you can use both 30 and three and um, you have four you have two and you have two okay all right, so we're moving on and we're looking at the people who were born on the 18th. Um, so people who are born on the 18th, I see you have Lamour, Lamotte, Lamotte, and this is that transition. Transition is coming up. And let's see what the transition is coming up for the younger people. So there is going to be transition coming up for the younger people but it's going to be um yeah here you go so if you read between the line of this message is that younger people are going to be receiving transition okay and transition um there is going to be the death of something and whatever is transpiring um it is transition it could be your parents passing away but the transition is going to leave you abundancy because the, the eight is here. So for you, it could be that, and it's not so nice, but 
um, that, you know, a parent, someone could be passing away, but they're going to be leaving you financial stability in order to go on. So young people, you are, and young people between the ages of 18 and uh, say 35, I, you're going to be feeling this in this year. For the rest of you, it's transition is coming up um, and it's twice transition, so be aware. So um, however this transition is going to be affecting your life, oh God, I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. So sorry. Um, so whoever was born under 17, you're going to be having a lot of debts in your family um, in this year. So uh, open up because whoever was born um, under 17, a lot of debts, twice debt, three times debt. Okay. This is real debt. This is transition. Um, young people transition old people um debt okay and i said it and you can see the energies coming out uh yeah so um yeah sorry ladies and gentlemen but um uh definitely debt is going to be coming up in the family but transit and the debt is going to leave the kids because i see that you guys are going to be leaving the kids uh, um, the, um, a lot of, uh, financial stability. I see, um, the energy of the five of cups, the energy of the five of cups is here and whatever is happening and transpiring with the energy of the five of cups, um, transition, emotions, 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 ending a lot of emotional issues it's going to be a year of emotional instability for you guys so whatever is transpiring is really going to be a year of emotional instability for you guys so be aware of this okay um and it's going to affect you on an emotional um, um energy an emotional um place and it, it's going to really really hit you guys so it's a year of emotional um and changes for you um, who were born on the 17th so you have eight financial stability is going to be coming in a whole lot of transition that could be bringing you um, financial stability but there's a debt in the family that is coming up and then I see here the energy of a lot of emotional um, issues a lot of emotional issues because something is coming to an, an end a lot of emotional issues so it is uh, um, 13, which is four. So unexpectedly, it's as if your spirit guides are helping you and you have uh, twice 13 and five, twice, twice 13, five and eight. Okay, twice 13, five and eight. As we move forward, we are looking at the people who are born on the 19. You have a lot. And when I said, you have a lot of issues you're dealing with. Whatever the situation is, you're dealing with a lot of deceptive people around you. Um, a whole lot of deceptive people, people that have been have stolen um from you. Um, some of you it could be people that take some money from you without you even knowing. Um, people who have been stealing from you without even knowing. So I see that this energy is coming up for the people who were born on the 19th. You're going to be dealing with a lot of deceptive people um, who takes um, money, takes little and little and little and little, takes money from you, little and little and little of money from you. And I see that um, the deceptiveness, I see some of you could be making some money, okay? But please don't make money via deceptive um, channel because they're going to be um, catching you if you have a market or you're selling something on a marketplace you're going to be making um, a lot of money okay so however that is transpiring then we have um, opportunities is going to be coming up for some of you to make money and this is going to be good um, I see some of you <clears throat> could be receiving some money that was stolen from you so some of you money is going to be returning so I see that um, this, you know, sometimes, um, you know, people could do you something in the past and you weren't aware and uh, 
um, people could have not paid you properly however that is transpiring but I see that this is as if people are going to be seeing the deceptiveness that is at, at spell um, because the energy of the moon is secrecy people taking things um, that is not of them and I see your emotions is going to be good I see opportunities is going to be coming up for you guys so this is going to be a good year even though you're dealing with um, deceptive people it's still going to be a good year it's like people are taking little and little little and little from you but yet still you're going to be coming out of this year on top and this is what I say to a lot of people sometimes some you know you leave a job they don't pay you or they don't pay you properly or you didn't get the right amount of salary and uh, I always just um, say to people let it go let it go let it go let it go because um, whenever you let it go um, whoever steal from you um, someone is going to be coming back stealing much more from them and then they will really get the feel of what they have done to another person okay so let's go in and see what other two messages is coming up for you guys and again thank you you guys rock last ooh 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 this is good okay card one or card two choose a card card one or card two choose a card if you choose card one it is use logic and structure to increase your success get organized a firm but compassion leader so here you go it's still going to be a good year ladies and gentlemen this is your energy number four um the emperor this is your energy it is going to be good it's going to be okay just get um just get yourself in order and it's going to be very very good for you just balance out the stuff and the second one is the energy of the moon ah <sighs> powerful intuition empathy let go of worries and fear understanding the truth of a situation let go of worries and fear and understanding the truth of a situation so you have two major arcana that is going to be helping you guys out you have the energy of your own energy vibration so it's going to be a very lucky year and you have the energy of the moon and the moon is helping you and guiding you because someone else um have the moon and especially the people who were born on the 19 and then the moon is going to be coming in and helping you guys help but this is in giving you powerful intuition and um epiphanies okay so this is a year of really powerful intuition epiphanies okay and about letting go of the fear and understand the truth to a situation and this is going to be absolutely good so whatever is happening and transpiring i want you um to be aware it's going to be a good year and I'm saying happy birthday and I'm off.